Welcome to Genesis Part 1, the latest DLC of Ark Survival Evolved and quite possibly the most challenging one yet, and I intend to solo it, starting off with the lunar biome. Today is moving day. We are at long last moving into a better location. Don't get me wrong, this area has served me extremely well. It's been a fantastic way to start up in, but we can't get that point now where it's getting a little bit cramped. I'm still a little bit concerned about the potential meteor strikes and overall actually the better base and a metal base. I would like a little bit glassy, be able to see through and such, but mainly I just need a better metal base and one that's a little bit more strategically placed. I'm going to quickly grab that everything I can carry. Oh god, that's a bit... Okay, not the metal. <laughs> it would just chuck all the metal away. I'm going to have a bit of a hard time bringing all that back, but uh, as you can see though, I've been farming metal like crazy. One really, really good thing about being in the Lunar Biome is the fact that metal and crystal is just so easy to come by. Stone hmm, takes a little bit longer. It does take a little bit longer. But the metal and crystal is just absolutely crazy good. Right, let's just grab that. How much can I carry of this? Can I carry it all? That's a definite nope. Right, in that case, I will empty out a couple of things then. So I'm getting quite encumbered. I think it's things like the berries, the polymer, the eggs. That should be fine. Then we'll pick this up and we can... We've got 30 minutes to grab that. Otherwise, I think that is almost everything gotten. We'll grab that as well, actually, just in case. And I think that is good for now. We can still grab a couple of more things afterwards, but this should about do us. Now then. Oh god, she had like another meteor storm. <laughs> right, now fortunately the place I've decided to build up in is actually right on top of the spawning location. So whenever I teleport to Luna North, it should take me straight to our base. Yep, here we are. And there's <laughs> another meteor storm going on over there. As far as I could tell so far, my new little base location isn't in the path of a meteor storm. It is there. I did originally want to build in this... <laughs> I did originally want to build in that little location down there because it looks really cool. It's like a natural box formation with a giant ramp kind of thing going on. And so I saw meteors coming straight and crashing to there. But I think this area here is a bit safer. It's um, protected by the ramp, so I get a lot of shading. I don't think I've had meteors come this close. The closest I've seen so far is over there. I think we should be fine. I mean, um, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? <laughs> See how long we can last for. But this is... Okay, that was really close, that one. Oh, God. This is my little structure so far, then. So for you guys who are thinking about doing the same thing, or I wanted to live in a lunar biome, I've gone with something raised up in the air. That way, because I've already done some bit of testing, and the defenders can damage metal, but at a much lower rate than they damage tech, which is kind of strange. And I figured that if it's suspended in the air, then, you know, they can't reach it to attack it. So... That should hopefully like keep, at least keep my stuff safe. I've put down a gateway first and then snapped the S plus ceilings off of that. And then I decided to add this little area here. That way I can then just run over and jump on. I originally had a little stairway down there that I remembered, oh yeah, low gravity. I can just either grapple or jump my way upwards. So this should be really nice and safe. Not to mention, I did say I wanted a glass building. Now I can see out into the... <laughs> horrible cold dark abyss or into that actually that's really cool right what can we put down first let's go ahead then and first things first get our generator down we will shove this can i shove it like right in this corner over here ah it's actually not a very good idea i think i put a generator about here so it's kind of like in the middle of everything we'll get our cable the outlet put our gasoline in there and that should be good to power we'll go ahead and just turn off the flickering on that that is so obnoxious Right, and hopefully everything in here should be powered. So if I shove this all the way over and let's try this corner over there, would I be powered? Yes, fantastic, good. So in that case, I say let's just have this fabricator be all the way in this corner over here. The smithy will be there. Got the grill over here next to the smithy and of course the refrigerator right next to it. Actually, no. The grill will be on the opposite end along with the refrigerator of which I'll definitely be making a couple more of. Now we seem fine in terms of air conditioning, but I still want to grab some anyway just to get some eggs going. I would like to make an actual hatchery at some point, but for the time being, I think this will be about good enough. So there we go. Oh, where'd that last one go? Oh, damn you game. <laughs> Not what I wanted at all. And now we'll just shove everything to the fridge while we're at it. So again, because having been here for now, I think I'll put that elsewhere actually, but we'll just keep on there for now. Can bench next to the smithy. 
dump the refining forges here and I'll definitely be looking to an industrial forge, an industrial grinder as soon as I can. Now that I got a room for it, I can actually afford to go farm the materials for those two things, in fact. Uh, what do they even require anyway? If we want to get a industrial, let me see. The grinder will require about, I think, a polymer and metal. Actually, no, you know what? That'll actually be fine. Getting that's going to be no problem at all. Probably the oil will take the longest, which is really unusual, but uh, that should be fine to get, actually, with all the Karakonos and the insane metal crystal farms. And the f forge as well. Yep, yeah, both of those should be really easy to get. All right, actually, this is looking significantly better. We've got much more room. It's much more aesthetic as well, much more functional. And yeah, I say the next thing now is just to bring all the items back into here. All the resources, all the materials, and the copious amounts of saddles. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I have no idea how I'm going to transfer all of this. Just look at the sheer amount of saddles. There's 20 units of weight. Oh my god, a 45 unit <laughs> shield. I might have to just stick it on the mech theory and hope it teleports with me because my goodness, that is just bonkers. Ah! God! Oh, yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> this is a really, really close meteor wave. And you saw just as I zoned in, it just flashed for a moment there. But yeah, as you can see, right where I initially wanted to build is that really cool looking box formation. But I should be safe, right? Like, you can see the general pattern there. Like, that's gonna be the, gonna be the closest one right there. Aw, oh, mate. Too bad, I would have loved to build over there, but this one should be just as good. Oh my god, how did that happen? <gasps> what luck was that? I just transferred with my Megatherium right next to me for like all the contents of his inventory and it somehow spawned inside the building. You know what? Not gonna complain. That's just by transferring 10 times easier. Okay, yeah, this is such a <laughs> unintendedly amazing thing. Yep, whenever I teleport to my base, my creature now spawns in my base. That is such an awesome, happy accident. So I just finished transferring everything, and I figured I'd check out and see what we actually need for the grinder and the forge, and turns out all we need is cementing paste. Like, I wonder, can I make both of them? Oh my god, I can. What the hell? Okay, if I want to make the grind done, I need to get a bit more metal ingots, but I actually can make both of them if I just get the smelling paste. Oh my god, the, the metal and crystal and oil grind here is just overpowered. Seriously guys, Luna base underrated. Alright, so, um, it's been a bit of a while <laughs> since the last recorded clip there. Of course, you know, COVID-19 hit, everything's kind of got a bit chaotic, and the quarantine has made it so that it's very hard for me to record right now. On the plus side, it means I've had plenty of time to harvest, farm, build, etc, and just expand the base a little bit more. So when I cut off from the last recording was where I was farming the materials to get the industrial forge and the industrial grinder. Things have since changed a lot. I saw the update in regards to the changes to the supply crates. So I went and quickly just bought a level 2 one to get my free replicator before updating the server. A, a bit cheeky, I know, but mate, mate, look, I'm not going to miss out on a replicator just because I, you know, wasn't able to record. I quickly logged in and just sniped it while I could. Um, otherwise, though, yeah, I've just been doing like a lot of uh, building, a lot of farming, a lot of expanding over the course of the last month. Obviously not the entire month, you know, I've been doing a lot of other things in between. But I am really liking the look of the base so far though. So it's a bit larger. In fact, what's actually changed? So what's actually changed is 
I've now added in these little alcoves to the sides here. I have to admit, I was inspired by Vic, one of my patrons on the Patreon Genesis server. He had just this very idea. A bit more, you know, built up and developed, and I kind of stole it from him. I'm sorry, Vic, I really, really liked it. And it made for a fantastic place to fit the replicator in. It just fitted in so perfectly. A big hit on the replicator. I've then had to kind of shift things around a little bit here. Uh, we've got the fabricator here now, chem bench. Everything that was originally over here is now over either over here or somewhere around here. I'm not really sure I'm going to be doing this space here just yet. I thought about having that be the hatchery area. Then I decided, actually, we'll move the hatchery to the dino pen down here. Just a big extension from the building. Nothing really too fantastic. Try to keep the whole glass and metal static. I don't know if anything can actually, you know, see the creatures inside. But I've noticed that not very many creatures spawn in this area anyway. So we should be fine in regards to, you know, defenders coming to attack. I think we'll be fine in that regards. But we'll find out. I mean, we'll find out one way or the other, won't we? <laughs> but I decided having the hatchery here would just be smarter. That way it's in the same area. I can move the creatures out through the gateways. All nice and tidy. Nice and simple. I've also got like a bit of a balcony thing here. In fact, uh, how do I get up there again? I think it's yep, up and around here. For really no apparent reason other than I just had the flooring there, so I figured I'll just turn it into a balcony. Up around here I can shoot from if I ever need to, although so far I haven't needed to come up here. Uh, things are kind of jutting through. I'm not really sure what to do about that just yet, but I guess in, you know, in the future we'll go ahead and expand it a little bit further. But yes, overall just nice and open, very exposed, very metallic. I like it. It reminds me of my aberration base, but just much larger. As much as I really liked the Aberration base, it was a little bit claustrophobic. This one feels just like a lot more open, and especially the thing that I really, really wanted is I get to appreciate, you know, just the biome. That's what I wanted more than anything else, is to appreciate what's around us. Because this biome, you know, a month later, still is still just absolutely stunning. It truly is. Now... There is one thing that I have not yet actually done, and sometimes actually really, really important, but uh, kind of haven't done it yet for some reason. And that is, I need to make a farm. Now I'm just thinking, what kind of building am I going to want for this? It's going to be very, very simple. I'm thinking, for the time being, we're just going to make like a very, very basic, probably like a three by three little um, greenhouse thing. Let's grab these then. We'll grab a couple of more. Oh, it worked on my own grams, didn't it? God damn it. <laughs> At some point, there's been a... Uh, a patch that's wiped all my engrams, all my stats. I think you guys will experience that anyway as well, so you're gonna know what I'm referring to. All oh, my settings as well, it's actually really annoying. This must have been extremely recent because I have not encountered this while building. I don't know. Right, let's get a resource that we need then and let's go ahead and make ourselves a quick little greenhouse and we'll call it a day. Right, I think that is everything that we should need. Let's go ahead and grab our good old horse lips. I still can't believe it's bloody named that. <laughs> damn megatherium and we're gonna go ahead and make our greenhouse in the bog biome so i'm well aware that uh, with structures plus what i can do is use domesticated beehives to water my irrigation for me or water my uh, crops for me the reason why we're doing this in the bog biome is actually for two reasons first of all it's because while the beehive is great for that it's not very good for um oi helena helena i did not miss this while the beehives are great for watering your crops, they cannot irrigate your industrial cooking pots or your beer barrels, and both of those things that I do need. They require permanent water sources. Also, there's actually a pretty good strategic location I'd like to build this little area in. If I can remember... Oh, good. Yes, first try. Yes, all around here is where I want to build this in, because one, it does, you know, place me quite close to a mission that I can just spam if I ever want, but mainly two is I'm going to be nice and close to these big bulb things around here. For those of you who didn't know, whenever these things uh, don't, you know, pulse their spores, when they're kind of dormant, we can do is go up to them and collect resources from them. Which I will try... I'll try it now, actually. It's a raptor nearby, so I'm a bit worried about that. Let's go have a quick little try then, shall we? Right, so do quickly collect from them. As you'll see, you actually get biotoxin, absorb the substrate, and sap. I've also gotten gas balls in the past, and I think something else I can't quite remember. So being able to have like an actual building here, reason to come here frequently, while waiting for the cooldown of these, is really, really handy. Also, lots of raptors, lots of baryonics, so you never know. Baryonics are a good tame. Right, 
Where am I going to build this? Where's our water source? Is that a water source? I'm not sure if it actually counts as one. It does. Wow, fantastic. Right then. So we could just build it right here then next to the spawn area. Right. Let's place all that down there. Place this here. So I would like to have like a proper large farm at some point. But for now, we're going to go very basic just to get the crops going. Just to get it all started. As you all know, it takes like a bit of a while for them to, you know, blossom for the first time. Place that down. We'll shove down all the walls quickly before the Baronix attacks me. Or a raptor. Oh, whoops. Let's go ahead and sort that out. In fact, did I bring ceilings? Why do I have the wonderful feeling that I forgot to bring ceilings? <laughs> did I? Oh, God. I, I knew I forgot something. And my crops. Right. Well, you know what? Time to go grab our stuff. Ceiling, ceiling. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Get the crop plots down. So like I said, for now, going very, very basic. Just getting the basics in order. Let's get our four mini crop plots. Where are they? There they are. One, two, three, and four for the Narka Berries. Let's grab ourselves. Uh, just for now, we'll grab a single... Uh, let me think. I Could I get away with just one tap? I doubt I can, but I might be able to. We need to go ahead and irrigate things first before we can actually find out for sure. So let's just go ahead and do that. Fortunately, it's just right down there. So it should actually look quite nice and simple. All right, cool. The water is pumping. Let's see. Irrigated, irrigated, irrigated. Wow, okay. I actually reached everything. I am honestly quite surprised. So in that case, from my inventory, we've got a ton of fertilizer. We'll chuck all of that into the crop plots now. Yeah, I managed to get a... Uh, that 50 it just said? Jesus. I actually managed to get a whole bunch of fertilizer from the from the tier 2 crate. I have no idea it gave so much, but I got like a solid 50 from the one crate. It was amazing, to be honest. So we have the long grass. Uh, let me see. Citron oil. Rock carrot and savrot. And for our final one, get a couple of narco berries. So one in there. One thing I have learned about Genesis is you need a lot of narcotics. Well, not really narcotics themselves, but a lot of uh, tranking ammo to knock creatures out. My goodness, X creatures really do take so much reduced torpor. It is nuts because of the reduced damage taken. But we now finally have a farm, which means we're about to have a whole ton of narcotics. A whole ton of taming equipment. Because guys, I've been itching to tame. While I've spent the last month just slowly farming and building, I've avoided taming at all costs. I obviously want to do that with you. Now that it's done, mate, it is time to begin. What kind of missions do we actually have available to us? I now I've done all the easy ones, all the non-combat ones. Uh, that's a that's a play a, a group one actually. Bog Rally Alpha. Uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> the race ones are still oh god the race ones i don't want to do that again <laughs> i really don't this one another bug hunt uh don't get bogged down in the in the minutia minutia of day-to-day -day survival so i just swap with her and find hidden points instead is that another collector's one oh i should do that one then i thought i'd done them all uh fishing defense bog beat down and oh that actually looks really nice. The way it's changed. We've got 29 out of 30 for the repaired glitches. How far are we from actually doing a boss? 38 out of 58. Mate, I've been itching. I've been absolutely itching. Just to at least go in there and see what the boss is actually about. So I think we'll be working on that very, very soon. Maybe not to do the boss, but to at least check it out and see what's what. But we are going to wrap it up here then. That's enough building. And like I said, I really, really want to do some combat. I want to do some taming. So we're going to wrap it up here then, guys. I am surrounded by raptors. Oh, God. Wonderful. <laughs> As always, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Bit of a long one. Oh, look at you. Oh, what? You're beautiful. And you're just casually just chilling right there. Oh, my God. I want it. How am I going to get out? The very instant I leave this greenhouse, I'm dead. Oh, actually, no, I can teleport from within, can't I? Okay, yeah, I should be fine then. I should be fine, but okay then. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe. Bad times right now. I hope you're all staying very safe and staying at home. And I will catch you all next time. Cheers.